dead in for hungry on the street. Your son, Bujo. You could have done better. You could have done better. And I'm going to post this. You could have done better. Scratch, walk one. Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topics right here. We see Squash clap back at Chronic Law. Also, woman blame Bojo Banton after his son passing. And we see some fans are speculate whether or not if Idonia and Governor good. Yes, people, we have more coming up in the topics as well. We see some people are bash Pablo YG. We're gonna get into that. Stay tuned. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad, and we madder than everything we mad. So we see some fans are raising speculations whether or not if Idonia and his protege governor are still friends. During Idonia performance at Sands over the weekend, we see Idonia, you know, right here delivered and is like we see Idonia big up several dancehall artists. However, we don't see Idonia big up governor and several patrons in the crowd were cheering for Govi. Who? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Me has a big up my father. Me has a big up Alkaline. Me has a big up Popcorn. See him. Me has a big up Vibe Spark. See him. You know me and I'm a boost, no? Me has a big up Massacre. See him. Me has a big up Chronic Lab. Ratcha Wall. Pop your YG. See him. See him. But here we are going now. From 2005. Big up who? So you can hear some of the fans in the background saying big up governor. Me don't know if Idonia did actually hear, but him never big up governor, him big up other artists like Vibes Cartel, Chronic Law, Pablo YG, Masika. And prior to that, we never see governor on the flyer. Yes, people, so me don't know if governor actually in Jamaica or not. Reason being, he was not at the show. However, it's like fans still raising speculation after seeing Idonia big up some artists without bigging up Governor. So Pablo YG getting a lot of bash for lyrics he used in his new song on the street vibes rhythm, Pan Belly. It's like some people right here saying a way Pablo YG a promote. You know where Pablo YG with the Pamela book right now. I'm an artist, respect him, love the look of juvenile. What do you put out a song? I mean, you're an elder beating about the song. I'm Pablo the elder, right? The elder, right? Me couldn't even come out because say the elder, no right? When Fresh you ever say, rap. if a boy step on your clocks in a your song, you say, if a boy step on your clocks, you tap him up. I do a king that is good. A boy step on my clocks, I'm a tap him up. No, I'm like a friend, them does a body mom. So since the news broke on April 1st, 2024, that Bujubantan son Miles Myrie passed away, who usually outspoken has not commented nor reacted publicly to the tragic news. Well, to how Bujubantan supposed to feel it, we not really expect him to come out on social media and say anything right about now. So we see it published on Yadaip.com. The person who confirmed the news is Bujubantan other son Jahazil Myri. Circumstances surround the 20 year old death are still unknown to the public with Jahazil earlier deflecting such question to their father Bujo. Reports are that Miles Myri passed away overseas and it is someone who close to him did it. Additionally, unconfirmed pictures allegedly of Jahazil showing his face badly injured are also making rounds online. Notably, several years ago, rumors flew that Buju Bantan got into a physical altercation with his other son, Marcus Myrie, after a disagreement. Now we see other photos right here circulating, so you know people are going to look into this and wonder a war really one. So a lot of fans have it that Chronic Law they squash brawling in Mobile recently. <laughs> So 
so squash seemingly respond to this video right here yes people in a them hometown we see chronic law put this out saying when them see the sign say welcome to mobile and no for them start shaking a man how uno shaky so up in a them hometown laughing emoji now based on words in the street squash him not link with shop than them so we see shop than repost this pan fee ig as you can see and it is said that Kranit Law now linking with Shabdan over the other side. Now, right after Kranit Law put that out, the video has circulated, people are react to it. We see Squash go put out a post saying, don't shake it. And this is from a new song we see Squash out for release. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. Oh, oh me fi fear them and them fear me. So first thing first, me just gonna get straight into it right here as this lady recently went live exposing Buju Bantan along with other family members, saying that them never really care about Miles Myri. So one of Buju Bantan's son recently passed away and we not really see Buju Bantan come out and say anything as yet. So far, we heard that there was an altercation between Buju Bantan and the other son, Jahazil Myri, who broke the news over social media. So we're gonna talk about that coming up later in the vlog. But for now, right here, this lady holds nothing back. Check it out. I can't do it, keep this anymore. For those of you who have come to know that Bujibantan's son got killed in Florida, I'm gonna call his name. His name is Miles. His name is Fresh Miles drop. Miley. This is such a hard thing for me. I'm not gonna lie. I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I have to. And if you see me breaking down into tears, please don't say nothing. Just listen. This has to be a very quick video. But Buju Bantan, I'm going to call you out today. I'm going to call you out big time and I'm going to call out every other musician who do the same thing. Stop having your children them all over the place and leaving your kids at the whim of the fucked up world that we live in. Stop it. You know, I'm so sorry guys. But I met this kid. My son brought Miles to my house. Miles lived in my house for two months. And that might have been the best two months of my life. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I, would, I was going to do this. I said I'm going to do this. I have to do it. Miles lived with me for two months. My son saw him. I don't know the backstory too much. But he was out in the street homeless. My son brought him home. And I made him stay with us. For two months, I gave him two months, and I say, within that time, you know, him could have patch up back with him family and go back home. My household is in transition. I'm getting ready to move out of my house and move to another state. So I gave him two months. Last week, Thursday before this little boy died, and he came back to my house to pick up him things because the two months was up. It wasn't well. He never looked well. He did not look well. <laughs> he did not. And I decided that I would not leave, let him leave the house in the condition that he was in with the stuff that he was carrying. And I had his brother. I think this is when I had a Bujabantan son. I had his brother on the phone. And I was talking to them and telling them about Miles. And I said to them, he don't look good right now. He need to get Baker Rocky. He need to go to the mental hospital. He need to get, he need help. And I convinced them to come pick him up. Them come pick him up last week, Thursday or Friday, from my house. They pick up miles from my house. And I advised them, I said, and I really thought I was doing the right thing when I released him to them. I said, he need help. And they picked him up. They did not take him to the hospital. I don't know what happened from the time I released him to them. Because I refused to let him walk in the streets. I said, I think it's better if you pick him up. Because it's a chance of you not burying him if you go to the mental hospital. You understand? And then pick up the youth. 
and I don't know what it is. A typical Jamaican people think they they probably fuss with him and argue with him, but they have a fight and he left. And that little boy left and go back on the street. Mind you, me give them to the, me give the you to them. Me give him to them. Me them pick him up. Me watch them pick him up from my yard. Okay? You know, one nice truck. They were supposed to take him to the hospital. They already knew he was troubled. They knew he had issues. This is a kid who they said been in and out of Juby. Juby. Been in and out of hospital. Would you son? Would you, you send them to go pick up your son from, from Graham and New York? And you never bring your son home to you to Jamaica. You did not bring your son home to Jamaica. You was a If you don't have the money, you could have borrowed it and get a one-way ticket for your son. The for your son life. You didn't do it. And you need to be held accountable for these kids. You understand? I gave this kid to them. They pick him up. And they did not do their due diligence. They knew the true variables about this kid. And they did not take him to the hospital. They did not take him to get help. You understand? And the kid go back, then release him back on the street. And the very time they release that kid, the kid get killed. It's the Kyoto Street and beg for food. Begging, Buju son. Buju son. They pass street and beg. And lose him life. From begging for food, begging for hungry on the street, your son Bujo, you could have done better. You could have done better, and I'm going to post this. You could have done better. You understand? You could have done better, Bujo. You sent for your son from New York because he was in trouble. You should have brought him home to you as a father. You should. You should have bring your son, your son home. What kind of father you is? It's wickedness. Now everybody's mourning. You're mourning. You're mourning. <laughs>